This vessel is known as Dionysus and the Maenads by the Amasis painter. And it's an amphora, which was a storage jar, as opposed to the Dinos and the Krata, which were mixing bowls. Now, Maenads literally translates as raving ones. These were the female worshippers of the god Dionysus. And they're often depicted in art in states of ecstasy, so dancing, intoxicated, is part of the, the ritualistic worship of the god, um, and can also be depicted tearing animals to pieces as well. Now, this is a much more demure version of the main ads. We're not seeing that state of ecstasy um, in this particular scene, but the hints are still there. You can see one of the main ads is holding a hair in her hand, out towards Dionysus. Now, if you're interested in learning a bit more about the worship of Dionysus, because for quite some time he was worshipped outside of the traditional pantheon of Greek gods in what is referred to as a mystery religion or a mystery cult, then the best thing you could do is to have a look at Euripides' play The Bacchae, which dramatises um, the etiology or the origins of the mystery cult of that particular god. Now, if we have a look at the scene here in front of us and, and how it is put together and also the, the stylistic qualities, you can see that we've lost entirely the banding that we have seen with our previous vases. And now the whole belly of the amphora is filled with one narrative scene. The figures filled the full height of the space. And it's very much dominated by symbols and attributes of the god Dionysus. So Dionysus is wearing the wreath around his head. He's got the two-handled drinking cup or the cantharos in his hand as well. Obviously, the Maenads are associates of him, so they help to, to identify him and characterise him further. And then, of course, we've also got that kind of hint that he is a outsider god, a more exotic god, because if you look very, very closely, it's almost hidden in the drapery of the Maenads. You can see there we've got a panther skin. And that's something that we have seen before in art when we've wanted to... Um, associate a particular scene with something atypical to uh, to Greek culture. In terms of how the Maenads have been distinguished then from Dionysus, well obviously we've got the different skin tone, but now rather than the use of the white slip for females, the Amasis painter has been more subtle and instead just used the background colour of the vase itself. We've also got um, a difference in, in pose. So Dionysus is, is on his own, but facing two Maenads. We've got that kind of interest in the fact that it's not like for like, um, but the Maenads also have some repetition and pattern in their poses as well. If you look at their arms, they're mirroring one another. And um, there's also very, very detailed pattern in the drapery of them as well. So if you look very closely, there's been an attempt to distinguish their dresses from one another with the different types of pattern that has actually been incised into the garments. Now, something that this vase does that's very helpful for us is show us one of the problems of working with the black figure technique. And when we go on to have a look at the red figure technique, I'll recap the key features of black figure and then show you the advantages of the new red figure technique. But for now, just know it's very difficult to pick out in the black figure technique where one body starts and another one ends. And they might be stood very close together, these particular maenads, but it's almost as though they've got one body and two heads when you first look at them. And you've got to really concentrate and try and work out which limb belong to which female. It's going to be much easier to show overlapping figures with that red figure technique. Finally, I just wanted to point out as well how the painter has tried to fill a little bit of the background space, considering now that we're no longer using bands and, and instead one main scene. And we've got some ivy pattern there in that space between um, Dionysus and the Maenads. 
We've got a nice little inscription above the figures as well, the Dipinti, naming the Amasa's painter and also the figures that we can see. We've also got some lovely kind of swirls either side of our figures too.